All right, y'all. I know y'all ain't seen my face in a while, but quick disclaimer. I was sick for like, you can still hear it in my voice. I was sick for like the past three days. I was sick on drop day. The day after drop, I'm still sick right now. Like, so I ain't been editing or like, bro, I just been out of it. Like, I think on drop day, I stayed in bed the entire day. I called out of work and everything. Like, I felt horrible. Like, I guess it's the flu going around. I don't know. Some other people I know are also getting sick. So I guess it's just that season, whatever it is. But yeah, I'm still trying to put in this work. I'm editing. I'm going to catch up on videos. Don't worry. I was recording. So we go catch up on videos and stuff like that. I just got to edit it. It's just that I was feeling bad. So I couldn't knock nothing out of the way. But that's besides the point. Y'all go ahead and enjoy the video. You feel me? I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out y'all way though. I'm sick as hell. I'm going to get out y'all way. What's good, YouTube? It's Boy No Life. We back with another video. And I ain't even tell y'all. I got these samples that just came in today while I was at work. You feel me? Um, I waited much, pretty much all day to open them with y'all. So, they're right here on the floor. Oh, let me grab that. Let me show y'all. Straight from DHL. No cap. Um, The people who made this one is from Pakistan. So, we about to see what they be about. Y'all know I got the shirts made from China. So, I just be jumping manufacturers. Literally, like, oh, you can't make this? All right, next manufacturer. Like, that's the type of timing I be on. So, um, I didn't even tell y'all what I, what I ordered. You feel me? I ordered a hoodie and a t-shirt. I'm trying to prepare for the drop after this um this week's drop so y'all know i dropped friday but i'm already trying to prepare after that because y'all ain't waiting like no two months for the next drop no more y'all not doing that no more so I'm trying to be on top of things and this is how you do it so i already got the samples and if they're good samples then hey we're gonna go ahead and place the bulk right after um i drop on friday so we're gonna see how it go but this is normally how i um i plan my drops you feel me so we're about to bust this open i'm about to set y'all up let's get right into it all right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and bust this open. Uh, I've been waiting all day to do this. Let's do what's in here. If y'all do what y'all do, we can work. If Pakistan do what they do, then we can work. You feel me? Okay. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hey, mind you, this is a nice hoodie. Hold on. This is a nice... This feel good. Hold on. All right, so they always do this. Um, normally, I like I always tell them hoodie, and this wasn't supposed to have strings, which is fine. Like it still looks good. I like this. This is some quality too. Embroidery. Let me see. I ain't gonna lie. I can tell the embroidery not not creme de la creme. It ain't as good as China's. I got a hoodie made the same exact one in embroidery, and the embroidery was better. From the China manufacturer, I could off off rip tell, like I could off rip tell. Hold on, I'm gonna show you real quick. Wow, y'all can't see it from afar, but up close, like y'all can't see it from afar, but up close, you could tell the threading on the embroidery is not that good. Dang, it's really not that good. We'll get a we gonna get more in depth. Like y'all gotta see this. I'm gonna try it on for y'all too, but. This is the hoodie. It just got the my logo on the left and then cursor from the right. That's pretty much it. It's something calm. It's something calm. I'm gonna put it on for y'all later. It feels great. It feels like quality, but that embroider that embroidery is poor. I cannot lie. All right, let's on to the on to the shirt. All right. I can't tell. Hold on. Oh, nah, this a heavy T. This T is heavy. So this T is 300 GSM, y'all. It feel like a blanket. I'm not going to lie. It feel like a blanket. But this is the T right here. It says absolute value, of course. With a little toxic, like a toxic waste in the back, and then a grenade on the side, say pursue caution. This T is some quality. I cannot lie. This feels better than I think any T I ever put out. This feels crazy. It really feels like a blanket. Wow. This design, y'all. Y'all got to give me feedback on this. It's something like, I'm going to try it on. Oh, yeah. This this look calm. This look calm. I can't tell if this is... I told him screen print, but I don't think it's screen print, bro. This look, this It kind of feels like DTF. It definitely feels like DTF. This don't feel like screen print. But it feels good, but this don't feel like screen print, bro. They're not fooling me. I told y'all what these manufacturers be doing, bro. 
you'll tell them screen print, and every single time they go do DTF because it's faster and it's cheaper, bro. Every single time they be trying to fool me, but I'm kind of rocking with it, yo. I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of rocking with it. I actually did this design myself too. I'm gonna add, I'll probably add some more stuff to it, like on some light stuff, like. But for the most part, this is what it looks like, yo. Y'all, let me know how y'all feel about the samples. This is the T-shirt, and then this is the hoodie right here. Cool little samples, cool little samples, but this embroidery is a no-go. But this quality on this shirt is crazy. I'm not going to lie. This quality is crazy. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. They had me bamboozled. Pakistan, y'all got to hold this L, bro. It's like heavy. Like it feels good until you put it on. Like this crap is mad stiff. Like it feels like I can whip somebody with this. Like no cap, like. It's how I look on body though. Way too stiff, bro. And I swear this is DTF, bro. I asked for screen print. I'm sick of these manufacturers. I'm done with Pakistan, bro. Y'all, I don't care, bro. I'm done, bro. They don't listen, bro. But yeah, this is the fit. I'm gonna go ahead and try on the hoodie. This feels crazy, like right here. It feels mad stiff. Like it feels like my, bro. Every time I do this, it feels like I'm gonna cut myself, bro. That's how stiff the t-shirt is, bro. Let's go. And let's go try on the hoodie. All right, y'all, so the fitting on this is a lot better. We got a deep hoodie, a deep hood, feel me? It could almost cover my whole face. Could almost cover my whole face, for real, for real. Perfect. It's just that, it literally is perfect. I just don't want the strings. And the embroidery work is actually poor. Like, get up on that. Hold on, let me, could y'all see how poor it is? Like, like, look at this, look at this right here. That's not sharp, bro. What is that? Let me see if I can catch some over here. And then it's like, some of it on the E is threading out a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. When they be, bro, when they be bashing Pakistan, I truly understand now. Like, shout out to Pakistan, though. Shout out to them. But, like, it's so hard to find a good Pakistan manufacturer. I literally don't know how the people who have Pakistan manufacturers do it. I don't know how they do it. I'm gonna be honest. This ain't it, though. Like, it look good from afar. Like, it really does look good from afar. But when you get up close and, like, imagine me shipping it out to the customer. They go get up close and examine it, bro. They go notice, like, why is my threading coming out? Why is the the top of the the V, like, why is it it sharp? Like, they go notice that stuff, bro. I can't I can't do this, bro. Like, I just got to stick to China, bro. I got to stop branching out. If I'm going to branch out, I got to branch out to another China manufacturer. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. It fit good, though. I'm not going to lie. It do fit good. It definitely fits good. And it feels good, too. It feels good. It feels like quality. I'm not going to lie. It's just that the work is not A1, bro. It's not. All right, so I just want y'all to see the quality difference on this. This one is the one from Pakistan. So let me get a, get up real close. Yes, y'all can see it right there. Look at the stitching. Look at around the edges. The stitching just doesn't look sharp at all. Now, uh, let me get this side, too, so y'all can really, really see. Y'all see that? Look at the stitching on the T, bro. Like, it's literally coming off. Like, what is that? Now, I'm going to show you all the one on from China. Look at this. Look at this AV from this from China, y'all. Look how sharp the stitching is and refined. Like, it looks so much more cleaner than the Pakistan one. China do not play about that quality, bro. When people be saying stuff like that, they don't be lying. Like, China with that quality is different, bro. I'm not going to lie. Like, you can literally tell now, as far as quality goes for the legit feel, they damn near feel the same. I'm not going to lie. Like, Pakistan Pakistan and China kind of got the same quality. I'm not going to lie. But as far as getting the work done, China does better almost every single time. I'm not going to lie. And I've had multiple samples from both. China does it better every single time. Pakistan has yet to win. I'm not going to lie. But look at this, bro. Like. You could just tell, like, literally just looking at the, look, look how big the holes are. They have, like, spaces in the, in the AV. And when you look at this one, it just looks so crystal clear. Like, it just looks so much better, bro. I just want y'all, like, I just want to make sure I'm not tripping. I, I had to make sure y'all see both sides, bro. I'm not tripping, bro. Like, it looks good from a distance. It feels good. I want to go ahead and order the bulk, but I, I can't take the risk of my customers seeing, like, stuff like this, bro. I can't put out poor quality stuff, bro. I can't do it. It's quality over quantity, bro. I'm good. But I just had to make sure y'all seen that. Um, That's pretty much going to be it for the unboxing. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. Either than that, join the Discord, do all that good stuff. TikTok, TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. I hit 1,000 followers, so I'm going to start going live on TikTok. Like, 
probably every day. I'm not going to lie. I was on live earlier, and people was actually joining. It was a cool little vibe. So TikTok, if y'all want to catch the lives, because normally I live stream on Sunday, but I be busy Sunday. So y'all got to catch me when y'all catch me. And when you catch me is when you follow me on, on TikTok. So the link to that is going to be down below. I love y'all so much. If anybody don't live, send me. I'm gone.